There we go. Hey, everybody. Good morning. Nice Ooh. Saturday morning here. Good morning, everyone. We're doing the little run around real quick. That's right. We are so excited to be live sharing with you right now. Um, right now. We have a really, really fun event that's coming up this Thursday. This Thursday, which is November what? 25th? 25th. 25th. Today's the 20th. 25th. Um, so our, if you are in the Charlottesville, Virginia area, we would love to have you come craft with us. We are going to be at the Brewing Tree in um, After Virginia on Route 151 doing a really fun pumpkin painting project. It's a brand new, really lovely brewery. Yes. Which they have wonderful things, and it's going to be a great event. We'd yeah. love to see you. I think the guy who started it originally did Star Hill Brewery. Yes, he did Star Hill. Um, and which, you know, went international, and, you know, just went, went like gangbusters. And so they have started something new. It's beautiful. And his wife, Gina, makes the best savory treats. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, She's lots, a chef. She's and a, a fabulous chef. She's, and, um, she's wonderful. So if you come to the event this Thursday evening, yes. you will get to um, craft and create with us. You'll get a free pint when you're there. Um, what time is it going to be? I think it's, oh my goodness, it's at 6 or 6.30. We're going to post that. Um, yeah, we'll post but it. it is 6 sure. or 6.30. And the address and, um, so you can find it. You can bring the kids, bring the family, um, bring a pumpkin. You can bring a faux pumpkin like this or a real pumpkin. And we'll bring the rest. We'll have paints and stencils and, you know, gold leaf gilding, all kinds of fun things for you to get to play with and be with us. That's Mom right. and I will be there. It'll be fun. Um, getting to have fun with you. And so today, this morning, we just wanted to show you um, a little taste of some of the fun things that you can do with the pumpkins. Um, you know, we've created some fun things. Sorry, Mom, I'm just That's reaching right. across. But like these cute little monogram, monogram pumpkins. pumpkins. Um, as well as uh, stenciling designs on them like this to really create a fun custom we designer will, kind of look. Yeah, we will have a bunch of stencils there yeah. for you to choose from. And so but also paints can, and brushes. Oh, so yes, if you, everything. If you are more, you know, like mom's great at just artistically making something. Well. Um, That's I'm, debatable sometimes. I prefer using the stencil. <laughs> I do too. Look at how great that um, is. I love so it. So I thought, I thought we'd show you one um, okay. this morning. Okay, so, I'm going to get around and get on the camera. Okay, get on there. and do that. So to do this, we're going to, let me put my glasses on. You know I need that to, oh, here we are. Um, All let me right. see. All right. So the stencil that we're going to use today is part of the gather. Hey, Allison. Um, hey, Allison. Thanks for watching. The stencil that we're going to use today is from the Gather um, stencil collection. And one thing that I love about a lot of the stencils that you get is that when you order the stencils from our Maker Studio site, is that you get a bunch. So this like actually comes in a sheet of several different stencils. And yes. I've chopped it up, but you know, I wonder if I, you can show it on the catalog maybe, Mom. Okay, open it up and we'll look. it's really fun to see all the options that you get. Yeah, there it is. I don't know if you can see it there. But see, you get like grateful always, simply happy. Um, and all these extra cute little embellishments you can do like be grateful always and things like that. So really fun. It's $18 on our Maker Studio site. If you'd like a link to the stencil, just drop us a comment real quick and tell us, you know, yeah. hey, send me the stencil link. Remember um, they're reusable. They're a mesh stencil. Yes, it's a mesh stencil. So you can reuse it again and again and again on projects. Also, if you want to know more about the event, Leave a comment real quick and tell us, you know, just say event and we'll private message you the information about that because directions, we'd love times, to have everything you there with us to get to craft with us. Yes. But so the supplies that we're going to use today are the stencil. And then, especially when I'm working on a surface like this, I love to have painter's tape on hand because it's going to really help me get it in just the right position. And then, of course, I'm going to use our chalk art, and I'm using Peace and Joy is the color. It's the white color, and I'm going to use that today. You guys, the reason that I love the chalk art so much is because it takes a lot of the pressure off of me as I'm crafting. That if I make a mistake, yeah. I can just wipe it off, get a That's wet the paper best. towel, and wipe it off. And yet, when it's on here, I can touch it. Doesn't and smear. It's not going to smear off. So... When I put it on, it'll dry and it'll stay put for as long as it's dry. But if I take a wet paper towel, it will wipe away. And but tell them how you can seal it if you wanted to keep it. Yes, absolutely. We have a matte sealer that you can put on there if you wanted to keep the, the design forever and ever. 
I wouldn't put that on a real pumpkin just because obviously the real pumpkin is going to rot. But if you were doing fake pumpkins like this and you were like, I love what I created, then absolutely seal it up. Put a sealer on that and you will be good to go That's right. for year after year of decorating. So yes. it's so fun how this really gives you a lot of possibilities. So let's start stenciling. So I'm going to take this and like I said, because this, I've been using this stencil a lot, the stencils will start to lose a little bit of their adhesion um, as you're using them over and over, like I, like mom and I do. Um, but let's, you know, we're gonna just put this on there. So I'm gonna get a little bit of tape, I'm gonna rip this piece in half, and I'm gonna just start applying it onto the pumpkin. And again, you know, this is a curved surface, so it's not gonna go on there perfectly, and I'm okay with that. So I'm going to just take a few pieces, again, just keep taping it on there, and let's get it on there. There we go. You know, and you can kind of, you know, just, I like to kind of pull it tight as I'm getting it on there. Yeah, so you get a nice a transfer. Yeah, because... You know, again, this is not, you know, crafting for me is not about achieving some perfect look as if it's just come out of some assembly line of a factory overseas. But it's going to have personality. But That's you want what to, we want to say. But you still want it to look nice, and it does, but, but it's I not about it. making, oh, so perfect, and you, you know, you can enjoy yeah. this. Yeah. Plus, Jen's going to show you a way that if there's a little error, you just use a brush and water to correct it. Yeah. I mean, this is a really good thing. This yeah, is fun. Yeah, so even if you're not a super, you know, you're like, I'm not, I want to be creative, but you feel like you don't, you aren't creative, then this is, this is for you. Okay, so I'm going to take, look, you can see, we, I use it a lot. I love this stuff. So this is the chalk art, and it, you get a little spreader with it, or if you don't have a, I don't know that the spreaders come with it, so I want to be careful not to say that, but um, you get a spreader, it's a piece of plastic, an old credit card, old library card, you know, anything like that. And when we get them from a maker studio, they come, they're big like this. I see. And I like to cut mine to make it smaller so I can really do exactly what I want to do with it. So I'm just going to put some on there and it's a paste. It's like a thick paste. Okay. And so hopefully you can see. Do you see. need to hold the pumpkin? Oh, no, uh, the pumpkin's oh. going to move, is going to be fine, but I just want. I meant like that. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Well, let's see. Let's see if I can do this, guys. What do you think? All right, so I'm going to just start brushing it on there with the spreader. So it's like I'm pushing it through the mesh stencil onto the pumpkin. And you do want to be careful. I will tell you a tip when you're doing this. Because the pumpkin has ridges, you want to be careful that you're not pushing too much of the chalk art through the stencil because then it's going to kind of gunk up on you in those ridges. I had that happen earlier. <laughs> well, there you go. But, Experience is the best teacher. But again, like if I was doing that with paint, I could really have a hot mess on my hands. And yet, because it's this, you can literally wipe it off and go again. Like it's no harm, very forgiving, no foul. Very forgiving. Yeah. What do you say? Yeah. So forgiving. All right. So we're getting it on there. And mom, you can see a little better angle. Am I kind of getting everything? Yeah, it's looking I need good. To? It's looking good. And so you'll see how you'll put it on, and then I just start like I'll kind of use the spreader more flat, but then I'll come back and I'll just start scraping it off because, like I said, I don't want to get some clumps in there. Um, and when you're working on a totally flat surface, this is even e easier. Um, but I love the look of creating these custom. Uh, now, decorated pumpkins. with it too, you notice she's going to take it right off. You don't let it dry. Yeah, you don't want it to dry on there. So we're going to just reveal our stencil. Ta-da! I see that. And That's... then I'm going to put it right into some water. I've got a little tub of water right here. So I'm going to take my tape off. And then because there are a few little spots that need a little bit of correction, I'm going to show you how easy. So see, I'm just going to take that. I have a little container of water here. Yeah. I'm going to drop it in there. <laughs> and then y'all are seeing all the behind the scenes. So I have just like a little artist paintbrush and a cup of water right here. And I'm going to grab a paper towel too. Okay. So now let me turn this a little so I can see it. 
So yeah, like see, can you come in right here, mom? See how there's like a line. some little, you know, marks that where it got this. over. So I'm gonna just come in a little bit of water on my brush. Not too much water on my brush because I don't want it to start dripping down into the proper, you know, stencil part because you know it will take it off. Water will. But see how it cleans Remove it this. right up. But see, it just takes it right off. Over here is a real off. good thing. Yeah. No, right here. Where am I pointing? You know? Yeah. Like, see, right there. Just cleans it right up. Takes it right off. And you could use, you know, a paper towel if you want to. I feel like I can get a little more control, uh, control and specific with the brush. So I like that. Um, and if, like I said, if we were on a flat surface, you won't get nearly as can much of that. Can you fix, like, that spot, those spots where there's no paint? Uh, yeah, you could, you know, touch up and, you know, try and put a little more in there. there's a couple spots there But, there. Uh, you know, I don't mind those, too. Like, it's, yeah, you know, but, yeah, you could try and come in, Do one. like, with the edge of your brush and just try and, you know, fill, fill the gap a little. Would you use the brush part at the end of it? I don't know. I don't think I would use the, the brush part because, you know, the chalk art, it's a, pay I mean, I don't know, I guess... Yeah, I guess you could a little bit. You'd yeah. want to be careful with that. But like, and you can see up here from earlier, you know. part right there. <laughs> <laughs> see, mother is an artist. To me, I'm like, ah, eh, it's okay. Use the brush part. Let's see what it does. This is an adventure we're on. This is live, people. This is Memorex, you know. There you go. There you go. Yeah, see, I like that better. Oh, good. Because it's not as apparent. But that's it's, looking it's nice. It's mom approved now, guys. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> but... Look at how fun, and again, like you can go back in, let it dry, let it sit, and then go make some changes, but what fun you could do to really create like beautiful custom stuff that's not going to just, you know, people aren't going to walk into Target or Walmart or any of these shops and go, oh, that's where Susie got that pumpkin. Oh, by the way, too, there's a myriad of colors you could use, yes. too. Yes. Doesn't have to be white. Look at all these colors. Yeah, look You know, at... you can run wild. And some of them are kind of metallic looking. We have metallic look. gold and silver. Look at all of that. So this many is all on the, the Maker Studio. Yep, these are our chalk art colors from our Maker Studio site. So if you are interested in learning more about these, please just drop us a comment real quick and say, you know, tell me more about chalk art, and we will send you a link and answer any questions that you have. Leave us some questions. We'd love to, you know, in this live video, um, if you've got questions, drop them in there for us. Again, if you want to come craft with Mom and I this weekend, at oh, that's going to be fun. I mean, this Thursday at the Brewing Tree in Afton, Virginia, we'd love to do that with you. So leave a comment real quick hey, and Sherry. say, you know, tell me about the event because uh, we'd love to have you come craft with us Thursday at the Brewing Tree. We'll be painting Hi, pumpkins. Um, it's a twenty-five dollar event. You just bring a pumpkin. We'll have everything else there for you. You can get a free pint when you're there. Bring the kids, bring the family. They've got lots it's of lovely. fun activities. It's beautiful, beautiful mountain views. Fun stuff to do there. Um, what else can we... Oh, my gosh. If you guys had fun crafting with us this week, which we hope you did, we were gilding. We were gilding leaves and decoupaging pumpkins and gilding the stems and fun things like that. Today is the last day of the sale to get the gold leaf, the silver leaf, or the copper leaf. With the free size. With the free size. Right. So today's the last day. So if you love that, if you buy like two packs of gold leaf, copper leaf, or you can mix it. One leaf, one gold, one silver, one gold, one copper. However you want to mix it up. You will get the free size, which if you recall, the size is the special glue that you use when you're attaching gold leaf. And... As we hinted, we're going to be doing a lot of fabulous, fabulous projects. Now, wait, the if they buy four packs, they get two? They do. Yeah. They do, they do. So, I'm trying to look around. I think all my gold leaf, I'll, let me grab this real quick. Um, so, you know, you can see some of the projects. Oh, the leaves. Look at the leaves, yes. That we've done. So, we've done the glasses, which we haven't done that with you yet. We're going to. But we've got the leaves. That we looks like the Midas touch on that the leaf. The pumpkin stem. And y'all, we're going to be doing so much more fun stuff with this. So if you want to take advantage of the sale, we love you, drop Sherry. us a message real quick and say, you know, sale link or, you know, 
gold leaf or size or gilding, leave us something about that and we will send you a private message with the link for the sale because again, today's the last day to get to do that. Um, and what else? I think that's all. I think we, that's it. We hope you're having a great weekend. weekend we yeah, we'll just yeah. pop in on a Saturday morning, spend a little time crafting with you and hope you're really getting some inspiration and feeling like you can do it with these pumpkins because this is so easy this is great my daughter loves to do this yeah such a fun thing yep. to do and i love doing it with the chalk art especially because like i said it's so forgiving oh they have pineapple stencils and look like over there that bee look the at the pineapple bee stem. there's yeah. all kinds of the stuff bee. there's lots of lots things. of stencils and to do so Choose even from. if you think i'm not crafty you know this is so forgiving. You can right. totally do it. Right. And um, we'd love to share more about it with you. So let us know. But we hope you have a wonderful fall weekend. It's a great Saturday. Stay warm, you guys. It's getting cold. Yeah, it's getting to feel like fall. So thanks for watching. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.